Do you use a brush anchor with your kayak, canoe, or boat? Do you want to spend $22 on a commercial one? Or are some DIY options just as good? Well, I'm going to test them and we're going to find out today. All of the commercial versions of brush anchors are basically the same. It's a grippy thing with a cord going through the middle. And the theory is that this grabs onto a tree and then the cord, as tension gets applied to it, pushes the clamp into the tree. Now the commercial version has all these sharp prongs to help it grab into the tree. You have two do-it-yourself options that I've discovered. This one basically costs about $3. This one costs 7 So let's talk through the theory of these, which matches the commercial version. Basically, you have a cord going in through the handle, through the top, and then it creates the loop, the loop that's going to grab onto the brush as this clamps down. The cord continues around through the top and then out through the brush. Now, the more expensive version of the clamp from Harbor Freight has an advantage in that it has these more robust clips up here at the top. You can see there's a metal pin that attaches these two plastic peaches to a very, very sturdy frame. And what I've done is I've run the cord up through some holes that I've drilled in both sides. Then this already came with some holes here, and that's where I ran the cord through. And then when you shut it, the cord is going to grip the tree just like the commercial version. Now the key advantage of this clamp is that it actually clamps. It's not going to come loose once you clamp it down. So now the key question is, which of these is better? Well, I've got a tree right here, and we're going to try them out. First, the commercial version. I'll go ahead and grip on this heavy trunk right here, and then pull, and you can see it slips a little bit before the teeth grab into the trunk. Now I'm leaning into it, Mimicking the tension a boat would put on it and I don't think this is going to come off So let's get that off Don't want to damage my tree too much. Now. Let's try the cheap version of the do-it-yourself I've got some heavy dive cord here if you're wondering what this is Now these little tabs up here. They're going to break off at some point So don't even try and use them and again. We want this cord down it goes on the tree and then I pull and I'm pulling really hard and this isn't coming off. Okay, so that works. Now let's try the more expensive version that has the clamping action. Again, the cords here, I put it on the tree. In this case, I can close it all the way and clamp it. And then when I pull, of course, this is going to tighten up the cord back here, or the loop is going to tighten up as well. And I'm really pulling hard. And that's not coming off either. Now, of the three, I actually think this is probably the more robust option because you can grip around a tree this big and it's not going to come off. And you have these tabs up here that's going to help it grip on and it's not going to damage the tree, which is something I'm concerned about back here in my backyard. Doing it again. I am, I'm only standing on one leg and I'm leaning back and that's not coming off. Let's do that with the cheap do-it-yourself option. Okay, clamps on. Now again, this isn't going to grab a, as thick of a tree as either the commercial or the more expensive do-it-yourself. I'll go on to one leg and lean back. So my weight, 165 pounds of lean, mean fighting machine, is leaning against this tree, and that's not coming off, which is surprising, because I would have thought this would have popped off. So there you go. Do it yourself. 
is just as good as this commercial version and there's no need to spend $22 on one of these with these prongs that are going to damage a tree anyway. So what do you guys think? Have you tried out these brush anchors? Do you prefer the commercial version or do you think the do-it-yourself is just as good? Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.